Hi everybody, it's Peter the Potter again. You can't really see me, but I'm right here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do the finishing of the pie plate here, or at least part of finishing the pie plate. I've got a, a lug of clay right here and a bat on the my wheel to just use as a rolling device. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out a lug here and it's going to be attached to the pie plate and the reason for the lug isn't for, as a handle the lug is to give the pot another dimension because we're going to be able to take the uh, this pot and put this lug on it so that we could hand, hang it on the wall this is a way I finish some of these lugs it's sort of a simple way of doing it I get a sharp edged object the lug of clay and then I just sort of angle the ruler here and I roll it and I create these little lines which you can see are forming on this uh, this handle okay so we've got this uh, now groove nicely and what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and get the uh, <coughs> get the pot we set this on the side here <coughs> Here's that nice pie plate that we threw yesterday. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to tip it up here right here. Let's see if we can be able to see this or not. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a my needle tool and here on the rim of the pie plate I'm going to make a couple of score marks here to where I'm going to attach this handle. I don't know if you really able to see what I'm doing under here or not okay and I'm going to take this handle and I'm going to figure out about how wide it's got to be to make this ridge line here there we go it's a little wider we're just going to take this and cut it off right here And then we have this formed handle here, so we're going to just sort of bend this a little bit. And I don't, I don't need that much, so I'm going to clear off this other end also. And then I'm going to just take this and just give it a pinch here and a pinch here. And get a needle tool right here, and uh, we're going to slip score this right here, here and here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the to the pot. Let's see if I can pick this up enough. Push it on there. Push it on right there. And then on these, sometimes what we want to do is we're going to take our needle tool right here. We've made this handle attachment, and we're going to take this needle tool, and we're going to put this these little needle holes right here, and it's going to weld this handle to the piece. I guess I'm going to try to show it to you a little bit better. There's a score marks there. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to come back in here with a uh, with a couple of balls of clay, small little balls. Here we're going to take this and roll the ball. We right hear a little ball, and we're going to set the ball right into that spot that's right there on the pot, and make a little nice attachment. And then we're going to do it on the other side too. Just roll a small ball here of clay in your hand, just a little tiny ball like that. And then we're going to take that and add it to the other side here, right here. Now, give it a little water on it, set it on that attachment spot, push it on and lift this up so that we have now a lug on the end of the pie plate. Here it is. There it is right there. 
right there. Nice little handle on this pie plate. And then what we're going to have to do after we get this dried a little bit, we'll turn this over and we'll, uh, we'll turn it over and we're going to then uh, sign it and do what I call the uh, finishing of the bottom. We're not going to carve any feet into this. We're just going to do it as a, uh, like as a finished uh, bottom. I'll show you how to do it. It's not hard to do and it gives it a good effect and it's a good place to sign your name. Anyway, this is Pitter the Potter in Maggie Valley working on this large pie plate. We'll see you the next time. PitterThePotter.com.